Hey everybody out there in Hot Rod Land, it's Phil coming to you from CarCraft Classics. Today we're showing off this killer first generation 1965 Chevrolet C10 pickup. But before we get started with that, just want to say for anybody watching one of my videos for the first time, this is CarCraft Classics. <coughs> Excuse me. We're located at 321 Canton Road here in Cumming, Georgia. We're about 30 miles north of Atlanta and about 40 minutes from the airport. Number for the shop is 470-239-4977. My name is Phil, I'm the owner here, and my cell number is 770-317-1415. We can also be reached at carcraftclassics at gmail.com if you prefer email. And don't forget to visit us on the web at carcraftclassics.com. There's 60 plus pictures of this and the rest of the uh, inventory I have currently on our inventory page. Again, carcraftclassics.com. <clears throat> Take a look. Let us know what you think. And if you're into classic cars and wheel and tire packages and neon signs and just hot rod novelty items, all this kind of cool stuff that we sell, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel so you can see all our upcoming videos. So, you've heard me say this before, I don't even know where to begin. I'm in love with this little truck. This one came to us from Savannah, Georgia. I believe it's been a southern truck all its life. And the reason I say I'm so in love with it is, if you, are, if you do watch our videos, you know, here at CarCraft Classics, we don't do too much with the super high-end stuff. But it's the mid-level classics that are turnkey and reliable and ready to run down the road that we focus on so this one fits right in our wheelhouse and before we get started with all the details on the truck I just want to say that you know we've pumped out some some really cool custom trucks over the years that we're real proud of we've got a couple in the shop right now and some high-end stuff too here and there but this vehicle needs to be viewed through the lens of a family heirloom you don't know no, i don't i don't know if this truck will win it probably won't at your local show it probably won't get any trophies but this truck is about building memories you know this is the kind of truck you put in your garage and you take your wedding photos with it you teach your first child how to drive behind the wheel of this truck you have photos sitting on your mantle of your children sitting in the bed of this truck. This is the truck you throw your dog in and you go to Home Depot on a Saturday or Sunday. This is a family heirloom. This is a truck you build memories in. This truck is not about slamming it on the ground and taking it to the show and all the oohs and ahs. This is like a member of the family. This is the truck you take your son and daughter and again, teach them how to drive on it out in the field. And the truck that they remember when they grow up. That's what this one's about. This can be a family heirloom. And the great thing about this truck, they all come to us, these classic cars and trucks with pros and cons, positives and negatives, no exceptions. None of these classic cars and trucks are perfect. And this one falls into the same category. It's not perfect. And we'll get into all the details about that in just a moment. But perfect is not what this one's about. The positives on this truck is that the previous owner spent the past two or three years just tenaciously going through all the most important systems on this truck. Things like the brakes, obviously the power plant, the engine under the hood, the cooling system. He spent time making sure there was no leaks. The gauges work. He made sure the heat was working. He's basically gone through this truck with a fine tooth comb, but with an eye and a focus on reliability. 
he's not worried about winning the show. Although the body is, is, is very straight for a 1965, he didn't focus on paint. The patina finish, which was recently resprayed, um, is fine for him. And I agree, this truck didn't need a $20,000 paint job. There were some things that had to be addressed on the body. I know recently the rockers were replaced and uh, those rusty old rockers are gone. The new ones have been installed. And then, like I said a moment ago, they, they resprayed it in this, in this killer satin orange color. But uh, again, a lot of the fancy schmancy, nice, super nice trucks, which, which I love too, don't get me wrong, but they have mechanical issues. People forget sometimes to get into the, uh, you know, the drivetrain and make it right. So this one, it's it's the reverse. No, the body's not perfect. No, the paint is not perfect. But man, what a fun truck this one would be to own. To know that every time you went down and turned the key in your garage, for whatever the occasion, that it was going to start. That it was going to run down the road and run down the road safely. That's what this truck is all about. Reliability, and building memories. So anyway, before we get into all the details, I want to let you know what comes with the truck. Um, it's going to have a clean Georgia title, or we can get you a title in your home state. Currently it was registered tag only, but as a licensed dealer, I can uh, get you the paperwork you need to get a title. Don't you worry about that one bit. Also, I have all of the build receipts here over the past, I think since 2019, this truck's been worked on, and I've got all the receipts for that work. Uh, here's some progress photos that the previous owner took and laminated to show the process, you know, where they took the engine out right there and completely cleaned up the engine bay. Excuse me with the sniffles. There's the truck and it's first time in the shop. Here's the window sticker we put together. Let's delve into some of those details. So up front, you're gonna see it's got a 5.7 liter 350. It's got a brand new long block that's been built out with some of the older parts, some new parts. It's got a period correct single barrel carb. It's got the original three speed manual transmission on the column. So boy, that should bring back some memories for some of you guys and gals. Uh, but it also comes with a rebuilt 200R four-speed overdrive automatic transmission. It's been recently rebuilt and got all new internals. It's ready to roll. So if you're an automatic kind of guy and you want to overdrive, a transmission can be included in the sale. Okay, I'll show you that in just a moment. It's got a 12-bolt rear end. It's got the original manual brakes and steering. It's got, let's see, factory exhaust manifolds, and they, it looks like they put a new tailpipe and muffler on it. Go to our website, carcraftclassics.com, to see photos of the undercarriage of the truck. It's got a new radiator. Like I said, they address the most important systems, and one of those is the cooling system. They've got a new radiator, new thermostat. It's also got a new fuel pump and filter, new plugs and wires, new clutch, press, pressure plate, and throwout bearing. New shocks in all four corners. It's got the classic 15-inch steel wheels with the dog dish caps, new hand-cook hand tires. 205 75 15s all around it came with a driver's side mirror but the passenger side mirror <coughs> excuse me was uh an option that year previous owner installed that side mirror on the passenger side it's got the correct original c10 badging on both fenders i'll show you that here just shortly got a new speedo cable we all know those can wear out and a new temp sensor because it only had a dummy light on the dash so the previous owner installed a dependable temperature sensor uh i'm sorry temperature sensor and sun pro temp gauge uh, in the dash got a new horn switch turn signals work wiper blades work it's had an oil change fluids ready to go door handles and window cranks are in working order got the original bench seat which is super cool gauges dash lights and heater in working order and as i mentioned all these build receipts including the rebuild of the engine and the transmission and the receipt for that new long block that was installed will be included. So just a real quick glimpse into the shop. Got some 
shiny real nice trucks over there got an LS swap C10 a couple OBS trucks a beautiful C2 Corvette I'm gonna walk over here real quick and show you there's that 200 R transmission that will be included in the sale with the 65 C10 so again if you are a automatic kind of guy and you want to overdrive on a made it to that 350 V8 engine we can include that in the sale so again, as I mentioned, this one came to us from Savannah, Georgia, and we couldn't be happier. Let's start with the outside. It's got the white bumper and grill combo. Again, it's got this satin, I wouldn't call it flat, and it's certainly not gloss. It's got a satin finish in this orange color. Absolutely love it. I think the previous owner said he's got us some extra paint or maybe a code if you wanted to uh, get some touch-up paint but I think any mark on this truck that needs to be touched up I would say that's a character mark leave that alone again this one has not been lowered it has not really been customized this is more of like a an original style and um, with with that original style as I mentioned it's been gone through and it's amazing easily the easiest truck to start in my shop it's the leader in the clubhouse for sure this thing fires up on the first turn every single time so you know they it was a painstaking process I'm sure we weren't involved in it it was built when it got to us but I'm sure you know knocking out all the leaks, making sure all the systems are working, making sure it doesn't overheat, making sure it shifts properly. You know, a lot of work goes into, the, you know, a build like that. And sometimes when you see an old 65 go by like this, you don't realize it because, you know, it's wearing its old, you know, body and it's got some dings and maybe a dent here or there, a little scratch. You don't realize all the work that went on under the hood, under the truck to make it. A cool classic 65 that can safely go down the road take a look at those dog dish caps very cool as I mentioned hand cook brand new tires plenty of tread I think this truck's got 500 miles on it since the build was completed and it's been on a couple two-hour uh, rides just to you know sort things out and shake it down as we say and Make sure there's no problems and if there are to, to identify them and fix them so this thing is truly turnkey ready to roll you can see the cab corners aren't bad this is the spot that these c10s we all know can really rust out that cab corner's fine i mentioned to you a moment ago that the rockers have been have been replaced i did see one spot in the lower fender here I think on both sides which I'm not really sure why these trucks rust out in that spot but we've messed with them before because it is such a common rusty spot on these first generation C10s and uh, they have sell patch panels all over the place for those so if your intention was to make this body perfect I don't think it would take much at all as I mentioned uh, patch panels for that particular spot there probably are under a hundred dollars for two So again, she's been resprayed, I think about two weeks ago in this satin orange. There are some character marks, as I mentioned, like right there. <clears throat> the paint is not perfect and it's not supposed to be. Glass is good. You can see the gasket's fine. I think anybody who likes classic cars and trucks would love to have this bad boy in their garage. No, I would. First generation of Chevy C10s began in 1960. I believe it ran until 66. And this is a 65. So one year before they ended this body style in 67, they went to a different body style. But this was a big change for uh, Chevrolet. You know, the task force line of GM trucks were around before this one. Uh, the big body, the big fender trucks, which are cool as well. 
but uh, this was this was a big big jump a big redesign got a white bumper to match the front uh, white bumper got a little tow hitch there in the bed you've got some old wood that kind of fits the patina of the truck it was recently painted in a tan color or stained I guess you'd say and the slats were hand brushed in this satin orange during that respray spray the bed's not all dinged up and dented and everything it's in pretty good shape for a 65 <clears throat> tailgate does open and close as you'll see in the photos on our website and the previous owner pointed out one of the things he would have loved to do before he sent me the truck was to paint that Chevrolet that raised or embossed Chevrolet on the tailgate paint those letters in white and if any of you prospective buyers out there want that done we can certainly bring in a custom painter and shoot that Chevrolet white it'll stand out quite a bit the contrast between the white and the orange as you can see with the bumpers and top of the cab really is a nice nice color combination there's that brand new tailpipe as I mentioned to you it's got it's got the factory um, exhaust manifolds up front which have been gone through and sorted out I guess they put a new uh, gasket a new Y pipe all this stuff I'll show you under the hood in just a moment um, they went with factory stuff under the hood, and then, like I said, new muffler, new tailpipe. Got the little side mount spare tire. It's also got the steel wheel. That one's got a little white wall with a dog dish cap. Thing they didn't do is they didn't move the gas tank under the bed that's always a nice a nice uh, upgrade to do you know it cuts down on fumes inside the cab I mean it's working fuel gauge is working but the gas tank is still behind the seat as it was from the factory so there's that killer old vinyl bench seat just love that that screams originality there's those rockers that have been replaced as I mentioned recently it's all fresh new metal and they sprayed it and that kind of trying to make it match the patina on the exterior the floors are good again there's pictures of the undercarriage on our website carcraftclassics.com if there's a photo that you'd like to see that you don't see one of when you look at the inventory page on this truck uh, just let me know. I'll be glad to put it up in the air and do whatever I need to do. Don't want to mislead anybody. We'll be glad to be honest and upfront and show you whatever you want to see. So it's kind of a tan color in here. Headliner's in great shape. It's only got the one sun visor, which I believe the other one was an option from the factory. Let's fire this bad boy up. I'm not even going to pump the pedal because I know this sucker's going to start. Just ready to putt down the road. It's not going to pull any wheelies, but it's got some pep. I love driving that three on the tree. That is cool. All the lights work, as I mentioned. All the gauges are in working order. Dummy lights working. I'll show you in a moment. It's showing that the uh, temp is cool. And it's got that Sun Pro, more reliable, more accurate temp gauge installed in the dash, just in case. Directionals work. Those are new sockets up front for the uh, for the directionals, right there installed in the hood. Those are brand new. Those weren't working, so I guess they got replaced. 
It's that C10 badge I mentioned to you before. And as far as panel alignment, I mean, it's pretty good. And the truck does look good. I can tell you this, you put this thing in your garage or in your driveway, I should say, and you'll have every neighbor on the block in your driveway. This thing screams America and screams cool. There'll be pictures of the top of the cab, a little better than what you see here. I know there's probably some glare. But just jump on the website, go to the inventory page, scroll down, click on the large photo of this truck, and you'll see it. Uh, another page will open up with 65 pictures. And actually, I think there's 70, 70 photos online. Top side, bottom side, under the hood, all that good stuff. All right, I can get this hood open for you guys. Nice clean engine bay. My detailer Ben just got in here and scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed. Heat system does work. I'll show you that when we get inside the cab, but just take my word for it for now. Firewall's in great shape. You see that it's not all rusted out. There's some frame rail you can see down there. It's not a rusty, rusty mess. There's those factory exhaust manifolds, those wide pipes, all new gaskets. I know the valve cover says 283, but the paperwork says it's 350. So About that looks like I lost you there for a moment but anyway I was saying uh, the valve cover tag says 283 but the paperwork says that's a 350 long block that they installed so I'd go with the paperwork we've got a 350 here so what else do we see underneath the hood here we see all the lines for the heating system which works great are all new I'll show you that when we get inside like I said and yeah, it, it does have the manual drum brakes that it had from the factory and manual steering, but the brakes are working great. They've been gone through. All new brake shoes on all four corners. New spring kit, new wheel cylinders, no leaks. The drum brakes are working fine. And for power steering on a truck like this with these skinny little tires, you don't even need it. But, uh, you know, that can all be installed if that's what you want. Here's another quick shot of the... Uh, the Y pipes, the factory exhaust manifolds, again, they all have new gaskets. There's your frame rails that are in great shape. You can see this truck is not a rusty mess. Look at the inner fenders. They look great as well, as you can see. New three-row radiator. The new upper hose going to the intake manifold. New fan shroud. I mean, the truck is done. Get in it, drive it today. Previous owner did a, a great job of not only installing the new engine and all this stuff, but dotting the I's and crossing the T's. And what I mean by that is the little stuff that a lot of guys don't finish. He finished it. And uh, again, this truck's been on two recent long runs of two hours or more uh, where it's been driven hard and... Uh, she showed out well. It's not only a joy to drive, but again, it's reliable. First generation Chevy C10. It's got a 350 V8. It's got three speed on the column, manual transmission. New clutch, pretty much new everything mechanical. And it also has that overdrive four speed transmission, the automatic that I showed you earlier that can be included in the sale. All right, let's take a look inside. Just a cool old American pickup. So 
those new rockers again. See that part of the floor, there's, you can see it, uh, has no rust. Uh, there are pictures on my website already, I think 70 photos, which include photos of the undercarriage. So instead of just taking my word for it, you can go there and see that the floor pans are good. The truck is solid. There's that cool seat again. The flat black vinyl bench seat that it came with from the factory. The factory fuel tank. The headliner again. It's a small back window truck. Dash is in great shape. No problems, no rust, no holes. The cool vintage rear view mirror. Love it. All right, let me run around to the uh, driver's side. Show you the gauges and everything. Cool, cool, cool. Mileage is seventy two nine one three, seventy two nine one three. I don't know if that's 172 but it looks like 72 one of the tricks i've learned in this business is that when the odometer rolls over the numbers never line up and those look pretty lined up to me let's just turn it to the on position let's see the heck we'll fire it up Like I said, dash is in good shape. Kick panel area down there isn't rusted out. At the old original steering wheel. There's that Sun Pro gauge I mentioned to you before. Obviously reading cool. Hadn't run yet. Heat. Go. No AC, kids. Sorry. Got to tough it out. Little trim tag. Wanted to show you that. The only thing I know that's not working on this truck, which is hard to believe that I can even say that on a 65, but the only thing I know that's not working is the emergency brake, which we're going to look into. But for now, I have to tell you, it's not working. All right, so 1965 C10. Asking price is $24,500. $24, we think that's more than fair. These trucks are bringing ridiculous money at auction, but we're still trying to be fair so the average Joe or Jane can afford it. And again, this is right in our wheelhouse, as I mentioned earlier. That kind of mid-level classic that appeals to everyone. Uh, and the big positive is, again, not to be redundant, but that uh, it's been gone through. It is truly turnkey, ready to enjoy right now. Just imagine your daughter pulling away from her wedding in this bad boy. And again, this one's about building memories. Love it. $24,500, more than fair. We can help with financing, shipping, or even light customization. If you wanted to change some things on this truck, I don't know, maybe the wheels, the tires, whatever you want to do uh, let me know and we can work out the details and we can help with that light customization and again anywhere in the uh, lower 48 we can put this truck right in your driveway as far as financing we use classic car lending if you're interested in getting a quote finding out if you can get approved just hit me up 
and uh, I can send you a link. You can apply right online, and within minutes, they'll let you know. Again, my name is Phil. <clears throat> my cell number is 770-317-1415. <clears throat> Feel free to text or call me on that number. Again, it's 770-317-1415. And the shop number is 470-239-4966. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. I hope you love my 1965 Chevy C10 pickup. God bless America.